Welcome to Victoria Falls, Zimbabwe. This is one of the most spectacular natural wonders in the world. So in this video, I will show you the best places to stay in Victoria Falls, the exciting activities you can do here, and the amazing wildlife you might encounter. So let's get started. Just a second as I introduce myself. I'm Maxwell Makumcha an affiliate marketer, website designer, avid photographer, and a keen traveler. I shoot vlogs like this one whenever I travel. I just love it. Yeah. <laughs> well, back to business. Let's talk more about the Victoria Falls. Maybe I'll start with a brief history of the Victoria Falls. The Victoria Falls, it's also known as uh, the Mosuetunya or the smoke that thunders in local language. It is a fall that is about 1.6 meters wide and uh, it is the world's um, largest sheet of falling water. Victoria Falls was named by the explorer uh, David Livingstone somewhere around 1855 after Queen Victoria's name. Well, the falls have been a UNESCO World Heritage since 1989 and they continue to attract millions and millions of visitors each year so you have to vi visit victoria falls well victoria falls is located on the border between zambia and zimbabwe in southern africa and the falls can be accessed from the zambian side through livingstone or from the zimbabwean side through victoria falls town and something good to note about is both the towns do have airports with the regular flights from major African cities. But the best view to view the falls is from the Zimbabwean side. You have to visit Zimbabwe, my friend. Okay, well, let's talk about where to reside um, while you're in Victoria Falls. That is accommodation in Victoria Falls. When visiting Victoria Falls, you have plenty of options for accommodation. You can stay in nearby towns like Victoria Falls in Zimbabwe or Livingstone in Zambia. Both towns offer a variety of hotels, lodges and guest houses to suit all budgets. I'll talk a little bit about the Victoria Falls, um, about hotels in Victoria Falls. Well, accommodation in Victoria Falls, yeah, it can be secured via booking with any hotel in Victoria Falls. Uh, like the Victoria Falls Hotel, the Elephant Hills Hotel, Rainbow Towns Hotel, or the Budget Hotel, just to mention but a few. Well, if you also need accommodation on a tight budget, you can choose a lodge like uh, Victoria Falls River Lodge or even look for an Airbnb online. I'll drop contact details of someone um, you can contact quickly for accommodation. Um, in Victoria Falls. Then there was also Elephant Hills Hotel. Um, yeah, this I'm, I'm now here at um, Elephant Hills Hotel. As you can see, it's a luxury hotel that is located here in Victoria Falls in Zimbabwe. It is situated, um, it's, it's here on a hilltop overlooking the Zambezi River and the Zambezi Falls National Park. And this hotel offers stunning views of the African bushveld and yeah, most famous Victoria Falls or even uh, like Seven Wonders of the World as some may call it. This hotel is it has up to about 276 rooms and suites with all in suit bathrooms and private balconies or terraces. And the rooms are elegantly furnished and equipped with modern amenities like um, air conditioning, satellite and internet access. Oh, the Victoria, uh, the Elephant Hills Hotel, yeah, it's, it's, it's so close to um, Zambia's helicopters. So it's one of the activities that you can even enjoy just a few meters from your hotel room. Yeah, um, let's talk about the activities that you can enjoy in Victoria Falls. Okay. Well, I enjoyed um, this trip much, and in terms of the activities, most of them I did them um, using my proceeds from my forex trading um, side hustle. So, if you want to become a for profitable forex trader, 
please contact me via the email that is showing on this screen okay let's talk about um, the activities in Victoria Falls so this is my top recommendation for activities in Victoria Falls in no particular order number one the Victoria Falls um, the falls themselves I really love um, the falls and as you can see these are the falls that you can see the falls are one of the most exciting um, thing in Victoria Falls the most exciting thing about Victoria Falls is that it's, it's, it's the sheer size and the majesty of the waterfall itself like Victoria Falls, as I mentioned, is one of the largest waterfalls in the world with a width of um, something like 1.7 kilometers and a height of about um, 108 meters. Yeah. So the sight and the sound of the water crashing down into the gorge and up there, it's, it's truly awe inspiring. And you have up to about 14 points that you can um, see the falls from. So you'll be seeing the the points you'll be walking um by the side of the falls from point number one to point number 14 um and you'll be walking and i was i, I always urge you to carry an, a, a raincoat on an umbrella is the rainforest to always be uh raining as the name presupposes okay another thing that you can enjoy most it's um a helicopter ride Okay, so you can take a thrilling helicopter ride for a breathtaking area of views of the falls. As you know, the helicopter ride, they uh, vary from time to time and uh, you have to book with Zambezi A. That's where I am here. You can book with them and um, you can enjoy an area of view of the Victoria Falls. You can also see the majestic Zambezi River and see a game park that is uh, up there in Botswana so the ride depends on the amount that you would have paid and the arrows you can see here they are indicating the direction of your flights according to the amount that you would have paid you can also enjoy um, a boat cruise along the Zimbabwean river witnessing the stunning African sunset and wildlife along the river banks so the upper part of the falls is a great spot for boat cruising and you can conduct Shearwater Victoria Falls. Yeah, they kind of own uh, all the boat cruising facilities. And um, yeah, here yeah, I'm in the luxury boat. And the it, the boat starts from uh, about $65 per person. Man, just have a look at the finishings here. It's, it's, it's crazy. So while it's on board, you can enjoy... Um, the magnificent views and you are treated to all sorts of drinks both alcoholic and non-alcoholic and please note the charges for the drinks is on the boarding fee of $65 so definitely you drink to your drop and while it's on the boat you can as well do things like speed boating or fishing yeah you may have to check if they do offer kitchen release or can carry and go with 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 the the fish that you have caught well you can also for um adrenaline junkies you can try white water rafting and the zambes challenging rapids yeah it's something that you can do as well um yeah yeah then now i'm about to cross to the victoria falls bridge and that's where the zimbabwe and zambia border is if you're zimbabwean you can just cross the border to Zambia using a temporary gate pass. So no need for a passport here. Just produce your original ID card. Yeah, now I'm crossing the bridge and I'm enjoying it myself. You can view part of the falls while you're crossing the bridge. And those who do gorge bungee jumping, they also do it from the bridge. So they start going, they start here going downwards and you can... Oh, 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 you have to enjoy coffee. That cafe there on the gorge, man, the feeling is priceless. Oh, um, the Falls Bridge, like the Victoria Falls Bridge, a brief history. It was completed in 1905 and it's an engineering marvel. 
that spans the Zambezi River connecting Zimbabwe and Zambia. And the bridge offers some breathtaking views from the falls and the gorge below. It is also site to um, the famous gorge bungee jumping experience as I mentioned earlier. Okay, well, now I'm in Zambia and there is a spectacular point where you can stand here and enjoy the view of the Victoria Falls Bridge. And you can see tourists doing zipline, coach bunch jumping. Oh, I forgot to mention that I met a Zambian friend who took uh, me and my other colleagues on a free tour guide of the Zimba Zambian side, rather. So he took his time explaining where the Zambezi River comes from, when is it flooded, the best time to visit Zambia, to visit Victoria Falls. Yeah, and my, my Zimbabwean friend, uh, my Zambian friend then showed me his, his artifacts. You, you, you gotta love them, man. And please get a few bags and purchase some artifacts from um, these potteries. You can also enjoy what they call a jinga ride. Yeah, you can see my friends are enjoying their jinga ride. Yeah, and um, then about goji punch jumping. Well, um, it's some of the exhilarating activities that you can do while it's in, in, in Victoria Falls. So the Victoria Falls goji jump takes place from the Victoria Falls Bridge, as I explained earlier. And it spans the Zimbabwe and River between, uh, spans the Zambezi River between Zimbabwe and Zambia. So the bridge is about 111 meters, which is about 364 feet high, and the jump itself is, um, yeah, it's a 111 meter free fall, followed by a rebound as the bungee cord stretches and recoils. Yeah, so the bungee gorge jumping experience in Victoria Falls. It's operated, I think it's Shea Water. You may have to check because most of the activities here, they are, they are all owned by Shea Water. Um, yeah, but it's, it's a reputable company with experienced jam masters and safety measures are always in place. So the participants, they are given some safety briefing and they are securely fastened into a full body harness before making um, the jump. So in addition to the standard good jump, there are also other options for things like tandem jumps, where two people jump together, the bridge swings, the participants, they are brought back, forth, beneath the bridge after jumping, and so forth. Yeah, so the bungee, the bungee jumping experience, it can be booked on its own or as part of a package that includes other adventures in um, Victoria Falls. Yeah, so you can also enjoy... Uh, gorge bungee jumping is a package with things like um, zip lining or helicopter flies over the falls. Well, um, I also enjoyed much uh, in Victoria Falls um, when it comes to the views. As you stand on the lookout cafe, you see the uh, gorge, you see people doing gorge bungee jumping, and uh, also the cultural village. So, the cultural village, I think this is the one that I should have started with. This is close to the Victoria Falls border and it's adjacent to the entrance of the Victoria Falls rainforest. So the rainforest is where you'll be viewing the falls from and please note, it's always raining in the rainforest. So you have to buy an, um, a raincoat or an umbrella at the culture village. And if you're driving, um, the culture village is where you find a car park to leave your car. And please make sure you do not leave any valuables there. Because, um, yeah, I saw there was no one who was um, in charge of the car park. And uh, it's, it's not guarded to say. But And by the time of this recording, um, the car park was free of charge. So no need to worry about paying car park fees. Then, um, you also get to enjoy wildlife while it's in Victoria Falls. Victoria Falls is home to a diverse range of wildlife and you might spot elephants, um, giraffes, zebras, crocodiles, and various antelope species. The area is also a bird watcher's paradise, and um, so many bird species have been recorded in Victoria Falls. 
Let me know if you've been to if you ever if you've ever been to Victoria Falls, Zimbabwe, or if you're planning to come. Let me know what you are expecting to see. If you've been to Victoria Falls, how has been your experience? Please comment in the comment section. If you liked this video, please click a like button, share it with as many people as you can, share it with a friend who is planning to visit Zimbabwe. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos. Each time I travel, I shoot a vlog, I upload it on this channel. I hope you enjoyed this tour of Victoria Falls and that's truly something for everyone here. From our inspiring natural beauty to thrilling adventures. So what are you waiting for? Start planning for your next trip to this unforgettable destination. Thank you and goodbye for now.